Welcome to Free Academic English. I'm Geraldine and today I'm very excited because this is the first video of the year and I'm going to show you two amazing books that you can get uh, for our first giveaway. So I'm going to show them to you. This is the first book, The Science of Everyday Life. It's a nice book, but unfortunately, uh, I'll have to unwrap it so I can show you what's inside and you participate and tell your friends to participate of their giveaway. The giveaway is through Facebook and Instagram and you have to be subscribed to this YouTube channel. You tag the friends and you are already participating. So we're gonna open them. This is the other book, uh, Grammar for English for Academic Purposes. And we're gonna open it in a few minutes, in a sec. Okay. We're gonna wrap it. I'm gonna wrap it beautifully for the winner. Don't worry. Okay, I'm gonna show you the contents. It's all the beautiful world of grammar. How lovely. Um, so, let's see. So for example, you see this chapter, tense review, we have an introduction with a short reading, they explain the use of the grammar, and then they ask you to test yourself for each of the parts of the grammar. And then there's a challenge part, and lots, lots of more things, no, this is too little, this is the second. Look, formal and informal language. Here we have relative clauses, very important. Connectors, all the different kinds of connectors. For reasons, purpose, contrast, with exercises. Talking about cause and effect, talking, because one thing is talking and another writing. Verb patterns, look, hedging using less direct language in order to make your views more measured and cautious. Wonderful for academic writing. Cool. Phrasal and prepositional verbs. Um, paraphrasing. I have a, a video on paraphrasing. Oh, I haven't uploaded it yet. Conditionals. What is this? I missed one. Using defining language. Collocations, cohesion for writing. Oh, I look uh, like in the annex, you have punctuation, grammatical terms, the academic word list, and the answer key to the exercises. And uh, here we have, uh, the book tells us the level. This is for B1, B2, and C1. So from it intermediate to advanced learners. It's useful for all of them, for all of you, even for me. I would love to keep it, but it's for me. So the winner, the first winner, that's gonna be on Instagram, is gonna choose if he or she wants uh, this book or this book. So now we're gonna open it. This is paperback and this is hardback. We're gonna open it. This book is the science of everyday life. So, so we can see the contents here. The sustaining science of food and drink, the heart of the home and kitchen science, the marvels of science around the house, the peculiar human and science and the science of us, science and the world around us, garden science, wildlife on your doorstep. Some acknowledgements. Um, so it, it, it explains everything. For example, there's the great calorie confusion. Oh. Okay, so there are some um, not pictures, but like sketches 
to explain some things. Like, it explains how fresh air is really is good for you. <laughs> how color are your toes? Oh, oh interesting. Okay, so you can learn oh, how you can make your own rainbow <laughs> and uh, <laughs> the author. <laughs> okay, here you have it. So again, to participate, don't forget you have to subscribe to this channel and you have to comment either on the post on Facebook or Instagram, it's one of them, and tag two friends. You have until January 5th. These books are thanks to SBS Bookstore, so I thank them again. Thank you for watching, subscribe, share, and I hope to see you soon.